we launched the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, May 2nd, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. If you're an Akeem Williams fan, this is your time to wake up and pay attention because we have the first official update that we've had from Akeem in weeks coming your way. As probably most of you already know, Akeem was all set to compete at the Arnold back at the start of the season before he was forced to withdraw at the last minute after he contracted COVID. And up until last week, for the most part, Akeem and his team had pretty much been radio silent about what might be next for him, and even where he was in terms of his physique. But then last week, all out of nowhere, we got our first physique update since early March, along with a few hints that he might be tossing around the idea of jumping into the Puerto Rico Pro, which is still a few weeks away at this point. We all know that when Akeem has everything clicking, he could be a top 10 talent in the open. So if that's the version of Akeem we see in Puerto Rico, watch out because he might be walking out of there with the win. There are certain things that you see and you just have to shake your head at because as soon as you see them, you realize that some people are just built different. And watching this video of Hassan Mustafa do walking lunges with 225 smack dab in the middle of his prep definitely feels like it should fall into that category. But aside from the fact that Hassan is training like a complete animal, the way that he's been chipping away week after week might actually be even more impressive, especially if you go back and look at the comparison shots from last year to this year. We've been saying for years that it wasn't a matter of if with Hassan, it was always a matter of when. And a few weeks from now, that prediction might finally be ready to come to fruition. Believe it or not, the New York Pro is right around the corner already. And if you're a Sadiq Hodzovic fan, you must like what you've been seeing lately because it looks like he's about to bring the heat to his grand return to the stage. Now, to be fair, Sadiq's conditioning was never an issue back when he was competing. So seeing him shredded like this is, well, just par for the course to a certain degree. But with that being said, winning is also par for the course with him too because he's never not gotten the job done at the highest level, regardless of what division he was competing in. So if Sadiq shows up and just does what he does best, the end result might end up feeling awfully familiar. I know there's a contingent of people out there who think that moving big weights is necessary to succeed at the highest level. And for some rare genetic freaks, that might actually be the case. But nine times out of 10, if you follow the Sean Clarita model, which is basically putting progressive overload into effect year after year after year and just being nauseatingly consistent with what you do, it's going to get the job done faster. As you can see, the former 212 Olympia champ is sticking to what he does best and once again the results are speaking for themselves. Sean's having another tremendous offseason and all the reports we've heard from people close to his camp seem to be pointing towards him being ready to give Derek Lunsford all he can handle when the two square off later this year. So if Sean's at his best and Derek is even a little bit off, Night might be all he needs to bring the title back home for a second time in three years. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.